guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Whoever doesn't know me, my name is Svetlana. And today I want to share with you a delicious recipe for lamb tagine. It's a Moroccan lamb or Lebanese lamb. I'm using different spices. I tried this lamb in a restaurant and I was like, oh my God, what kind of spices? there so i asked the waiter and he told me what goes inside and i also found a beautiful seven spice i found it actually in chinese store maybe uh usually lebanese recipes use a lot of seven spice but i found it in japanese store and chinese store and it's delicious it smells like heaven so i'm gonna be using my seven spice the original recipe doesn't call for it but i'm adding that because it's absolutely absolutely delicious so i don't have the gene and even if i would it's very small i cannot fit usually i make a lot today i'm not making that much but usually i make much more so i have my uh dutch oven that helps me and the the process is the same so the, the taste is going to be the same let's begin we're going to use lamb shanks i had a hard time to find them for my russian friends who are familiar with kashkian store in brighton beach they sell them they beautiful clean like that so we're going to be using five lamb shanks it's about three and a half four pounds here i'll be using probably the same amount of onion and for my spices, I'm gonna be using salt, pepper, ginger, grinded ginger, ground turmeric, and my seven spice. And also for garnish, I'm gonna make delicious prunes. I'm not gonna cook it, cook my lamb with prunes because my lamb's gonna be cooking with onion for like two, two and a half hours. Usually I would put prunes with it, but I tried this recipe and oh my god, I already made it so many times. It's absolutely insane. I use my prunes. I'm going to put them in the hot water, let it soak for a little bit. And then I'm going to cook it with cinnamon and honey. And then we're going to put it on the top of our lamb and we're going to sprinkle it with almonds, with silvered roasted almonds. If you don't have roasted almonds, you could just put them on a the dry skillet for a few minutes until they can start getting golden brown and take them off right away. If you leave it in a hot skillet, they're gonna burn and it's gonna be ruined. So just saute them on a the dry skillet for a little bit and then take them off. This combination of flavors, I cannot describe. You just gotta try. It's unbelievable. The sweetness of the prunes and cinnamon and usually guys i don't like cinnamon and baking goods my kids love apple pies and apple desserts with cinnamon i can't eat it i don't know i don't like it it's like bothering me but what i discovered eating meat with cinnamon is insane it's so 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 good so let's begin by searing our lamb make sure it's dry it's not wet our protein needs to be dry you wipe it with a paper towel and while it's going to be searing we need to sear it on all the sides we're going to be chopping onion it doesn't matter how you cut it as long as you just chop it up somehow and let's begin guys um, i almost forgot we need also another i would say for this amount five cloves of garlic will do and uh, if you don't want too much onion because this it's gonna be like lamb with onion it's gonna be a lot of onion you could use a little bit less but usually if you have like five pounds of lamb you use three and a half four pounds of onion so approximately I'm giving you that I'm gonna write everything down and I'm gonna be using five cloves of garlic Okay guys, to a hot Dutch oven, we add about two tablespoons of, I use extra light olive oil for frying. And we're gonna put our lamb shanks. All we need, we need to sear them on all the sides. When it's searing, you cannot turn them until they're fully brown. Otherwise, you're gonna rip the meat from the bone. So the only time you prepare them, you touch them a little bit with your tongue, 
If they not pick it up easily, don't touch them. That means they're not ready. Meanwhile, we're just cutting our onions. It doesn't matter how you cut it because it's gonna melt. So I'm just gonna cut it like that. Now guys, I try my meat and then easily pick it up. So now I turn it. I'm gonna do all the sides. Even like that. Until all my sides gonna be cooked, I'm not gonna do anything to it. We need to sear it everywhere. Now that I sear my lamb on all the sides, I transfer it to a plate. And now I'm gonna fry my onions in all these delicious juices. Now we're gonna add our onion. And now it's gonna give us the time to chop up our garlic. Guys, if it's hard for you, you could prep everything in the beginning and then uh, start cooking. But it's easier for me like that. You fry your lamb shanks, then you, while they frying, you chop up your onion, then you cook the onion, then you chop up your garlic. So for five minutes, you just, you don't have to stir it all the time, you stir it occasionally. On a high heat, you fry your onion. All right, my onions been frying, so saying for five minutes, and now you can see it's already brown. So now I add salt. Yes, don't be scared, it's not too much, because I didn't put salt on my lamb shake. And pepper. I also add half a teaspoon of dried ginger. I add one teaspoon of turmeric. Two teaspoons of seven spice because I love, I love seven spice. Now we give it a nice stir. We add our chopped onion, uh, chopped garlic. Give it a nice stir. Cook it for about 30 seconds. Let the onions get infused with all this deliciousness. Now we're gonna put our lamb shanks back. And there. with the juices. Nothing goes to waste. I'm gonna do a little bit salt, a little bit more salt on the meat. And a bit of pepper. Oh my God, that smells amazing. And a bit of pepper on the meat. And now I forgot to mention, we're gonna need a cup and a half of water. I like, I don't like to put cold water, never ever. Boiling water. And you just put everything on top. And again, I would give it a nice stir. Oops. And I'm making a mess. And that's it. And that's it. Now it's gonna cook on its own. You just cover it. Let me. I like to cover the meat with the onion a little bit. You cover it. You put it on the medium low. I would even put it on the low. And you let it simmer like that for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. The dog is barking outside, making so much noise until the meat goes easily off the bone. In an hour, we're gonna start working on our prunes. We cannot do it now because we need the juice, the broth from the lamb. So see you in an hour, it's gonna take us a few minutes and then we're gonna be almost done. So now we're gonna get our prunes ready. We need to soak them in hot water. I have about 300 grams of prunes. We're just gonna cover them in the boiling water 
and let them soak for about five minutes. We need to get half a cup of our liquid. You see our meat is cooking already for an hour. It's a lot of liquid. I'm gonna try to get without an onion. We need about half a cup. And if for whatever reason you don't have enough a liquid here, you could add a little bit more water and continue cooking it until it's gonna fall off the bone. It needs about another hour. Now I drain my prunes. They soaked in the boiling in the hot water for five minutes. I drain them and then put them in a small saucepan. And I also add half a cup of my broth. I try to hold the onion because I didn't want to drain it. If it's a little bit of onion, it's fine. The rest I'm going to put it back in my pot. So I put a little bit of my stock. I also add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I also need to add a three tablespoon of honey. I'm just going to, I already know how much I'm adding, so I'm just going to do it like that. So this is, oh, that's about a tablespoon. So I need to do three times like that. Now we bring everything to a boil. We make sure that our honey dissolves, everything gets dissolved. And we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes. We're gonna lower our heat. You see now everything is already melted. So we're gonna lower our heat to low. And we're gonna simmer it for about five minutes. You're gonna see that everything start getting like thicker. And then we're gonna take it off the heat and let it wait for our meat to get ready. That's it, five minutes, it'll be done. And I'll see you in an hour when we're gonna be plating. My lamb was cooking for about now two and a half hours. This is my lamb. This is my prunes. I also made basmati rice that we're gonna eat it together so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna plate it okay this is a delicious delicious onion broth that gonna together with rice it's gonna be absolutely amazing I just don't want to put the rice and pour all this on top of it because it's gonna be too much it's just gonna soak up in the rice rice we're gonna serve separately I managed to put all my lamb shank in the dish without breaking them because literally when you pick it up, meat falls off the bone. And now we need to garnish it with our delicious prunes. Guys, this is crazy good. And when I say that, it's I can't describe it. I, I can't describe this taste. You gotta try it. And that's it. And that's the bottom line to it. And our almonds. You drizzle our almonds on top. Not too much. You could definitely make them a little bit smaller. Or you could leave them like this. I don't mind the big chunks. And at the end, you always gotta garnish with greens, eat a little bit of cilantro or parsley in my case, cause my son does not like cilantro. And this is our beauty. So how do we eat this deliciousness? We take a little bit of rice. Oops, making a mess. I'm not gonna eat a lot right now because, because it's late. And I told myself I'm not eating after five, but I gotta try it for you. You know, I can't, I have to. So I put this delicious onion sauce. Guys, the smell in my house is to die for. I'm gonna take this a little, a little one. Oops. And oh, I cannot do it. Look, the meat is falling off the bone. Like literally falling off the bone. Not lying. Okay, I need a fork. And 
Honestly, you don't even need a knife for that because it cuts so, so, so smoothly. With more almonds in my plate and I take clam. Oops. I don't know what it is, dessert or meat or meal. What the hell? Guys, the taste is indescribable. I swear, I cannot describe to you how it tastes. It tastes like heaven. Even if you don't like Middle Eastern food, you're gonna fall in love with it. It's amazing, absolutely delicious, but trust me, if you watch my videos, Try this lamb if you like lamb. Of course, some people don't like lamb. If you like lamb, the combination of spices, the sweetness from prunes, seven spices, turmeric, onion, Bobby says hi, always. Thank you so much for watching me. I hope you enjoy spending time with, me, time with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave like. Don't forget to try this recipe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.